Hello and welcome everyone. I am Sivaswar Singh and I am going to discuss about the topic internal carotid artery. Let us start with the introduction first. The internal carotid artery begins in the neck as one of the terminal branches of the common carotid artery. It begins at the level of the upper border of the thyroid cartilage opposite the disc between the third and fourth cervical vertebrae and ends inside the cranial cavity by supplying brain. The internal carotid artery enters the cranial cavity through the carotid canal and superior aspect of foramen lacerum and traverses the cavernous sinus. It gives off ophthalmic artery as it emerges from the sinus and ends on the lateral side of the optic chiasma by dividing into various branches. It is the principal artery of the brain and the eye. It also supplies the related bones, meninges and the hypophysis cerebri. This is the diagram showing the various parts of the internal carotid artery. It has mainly four parts, the cervical part, the petrous part, the cavernous part and the cerebral part. The cervical part gives off no branches. The petrous part gives the keratico-tympanic branch and the artery of pterygoid canal. The cavernous part gives superior hypophyseal branch, trigeminal ganglion branch and the inferior hypophyseal branch. The cerebral part gives middle cerebral artery anterior choroidal branch, posterior communicating branch, ophthalmic branch, and the anterior cerebral branch. Now, its course is divided into four parts. First is cervical part. It lies within the carotid sheath. It gives off no branches. Second is petrous part. It lies in the carotid canal and gives carotico-tympanic branches and artery of pterygoid canal. Cavernous part. It lies within the cavernous sinus. Gives cavernous branch to the trigeminal ganglion and the superior and inferior hypophyseal branches to the hypophysis cerebri. Of following arteries ophthalmic, anterior cerebral, middle cerebral, posterior communicating artery, and the anterior choroidal artery. Clinical aspect Expansile pulsations of the internal carotid artery within the sinus helps the expulsion of the blood from cavernous sinus plays a major role in stroke etiology and is a good indicator of atherosclerosis. However, the clinical significance of internal carotid artery anatomy is unclear in patients with ischemic stroke. Thank you.